everyone, welcome to this Archives Behind the Scenes. Today we're looking at theatres and public halls files. These were created by the Chief Secretary's Department and then later by the D Department of Local Government. And they relate to the licensing of theatres and public halls all over New South Wales. So there is a file for each theatre or public hall. Um, and they're listed in our catalogue by the name of that particular theatre or public hall. So you can search by the name of the, the hall, the theatre, and see what we have for that particular locality. The files relating to licences for theatres and public halls cover 1895 to 1992, and they relate to licence applications and renewals for theatres and public halls. So this is a function that government in New South Wales has undertaken since about 1828, um, but it wasn't until 1908 that the framework for the current legislation was really formed. The series documents the administration of activities in relation to the licensing of premises used for public entertainment and public meetings. Um, the activities are primarily concerned with the approval of building plans and specifications, building inspections of new in premises, as well as licensed buildings at regular intervals, uh, correspondence with various bodies and individuals in aspects of public safety, such as the Board of Fire Commissioners and the Police Department, as well as technical advice relating to legislative and departmental licensing requirements. And there's a lot of varied material in these files things like correspondence and notices, inspection reports, breach notices, payment slips, proposal reports, memoranda to authorised persons or bodies, licence renewal certificates and computer reports and photographs. So they're quite an interesting group of files and they do document some of that important progress and development of theatres and public halls throughout New South Wales, which were often one of the big focuses for a community 